product of decay window in the data stream by data stream we means that there is the continuous flow of data for example d1 d2 d3 and so on by decay window we means that there should be a difference between weightage of new data that is coming versus the old data for example we can say that uh, last year for example if we need to find what is this uh, what are the current or trending tweets or popular tweets that are there so in the last year in november or december there was world cup so obviously the fifa tweets were more popular but now there is ipl um, by comparing the number of tweets we can say that fifa tweets were obviously more than the ipl tweets because it is on there in the whole world and it, ipl is only only there in india but still ipl is there uh, in the current time but fifa was there 3 or 4 months back so using the decay window concept we can decrease its weightage as compared to the ipl now how it works for example the current time t at current time a new data stream came it it has maximum weightage that we take it as one and all the previous stream data we decrease the weightage by w not where w not is the current weightage that they had into one minus constant where constant value is lie from zero to one so we can say with the time the value of or the weightage of every data stream reduces exponentially using this so we can use this example to understand it more clearly for example take constant as 0.2 initially at time t is 0 these three suppose these three values came so weightage of these would be 1 1 and 1 at time t1 no two more values came so their weightage would be 1 and their weightage all three these weightage would be the previous weightage into 1 minus constant that is 0.2 so it would be 0.8 which means that these tweets has less weightage as compared to these new tweets at time t2 which is greater than t1 and t0 again new values for example t6 came into picture so it will have weightage as 1 and d5 will have weightage which would be previous weightage that is 1 into 0.8 and d3 these three will have weightage that is previous 0.8 into again 1 minus 0.2 that would be 0.8 raised to the power So this is why, with the increase of time, the weightage of previous tweets decrease and the weightage of current tweet remains one. And this is how things works here. Now let's discuss the code about decay window. first of all we'll import the libraries now there is special library that is tweet pee what it do uh, it helps us to fetch the tweets using the twitter api so we can fetch the current tweets using this library so first of all what we can do we can get tweets for this we can make a function that is get tweets we can use this library tweet pee and pass the bidder token here and make the client for this uh, there are a lot of tweets so we can filter the tweets having hashtag as ipl or fifa or nba and we can mention the start time and the end time like in which range we want to get our tweets we can make data frame having three columns one is id id of the tweet second one is x what is the content of the tweet third one is created at at what time it was created so that we can use it in the decay window then
what we can do? For every tweet that was there, that was running in the stream, what we can do, we can take its ID, its text and its created at column and save it in the these three temporary variables. Then we can do, we can like make an array containing these three values. First one is ID, second is text and third is created at. And we can store these values in the data frame at a current location or at a last location using length.db and we can store this i to it so it will act as a array of arrays where one array array zero represent the three values id text and created and, and array of arrays will contain the list of arrays and then what we'll do we'll output we'll set the output file where these tweets will get stored so we'll let me name it as sports event tweet.csv file and we can save this data frame to a csv file where output path is mentioned so from here you can see this is the file that will get created which will have three co three columns id text and created that like this one is the id this one is the content that is written it in and this one is the created at at what time it was created then what we can do we can also print the tweets like it is a simple command to print each tweet like print tweet now the concept of decay window come into picture where what we need to do we need to find which one is a popular tweet out of the following continuous tweets so we are fetching con tweets of three types. One is FIFA, second is IPL, third one is NBA. So what we can do? We can read the CSV file that we just created. We can take its text files or text column. What we can do for every tweet, what we can run the loop. Here, first of all, we'll take the all the tweets that have IPL in it. So in the starting, the weightage of this thing would be you can say one and every time a tweet uh, we get a new tweet what we'll do we'll multiply it by one minus constant and if we are get so we need to count the number of tweets that have ipl in it so what we will do we'll if we find tweet uh, you can say if we find ipl in the tweet we'll add plus one here and if we don't find tweet we'll add zero here but every time we'll multiply the value by one minus constant because every time as time passing the things are decaying or the value is decaying so every time we'll get the value we'll multiply it by one minus constant same with the fifa thing and same with the nba thing so this is how decay window thing come into picture where uh, as the time passes you also decrease its weightage now we can compare which out of these three which has maximum value and which one is maximum we'll consider it as popular sports because it has most popular tweets now what we can do we can take an array or you can say empty array popular tweets and which sports win the race we'll take their tweets and uh, append it in the array and we'll return its result so let's just run this code Let's just run the code. So we get this output. So these are the popular tweets that we get and out of it the popular sport from the given data, we can conclude that the popular sport is NBA and these are the popular tweets that contains the hashtag NBA. 
so this is the answer.